three changes in total for Woking. So Jack Cook is out injured. Josh Casey comes in his first start since the game here against Maidenhead back in uh, back in January. Kyron Lofthouse switches back to right back. Uh, Max Kretschmar and Nico Muir both drop to the bench. That means Kane Ferdinand and Matt Jarvis come in. So it's who started the day in 13th place, five places and seven points above Woking, but having played four games more than the cards and they come into this game on the back of four straight away defeats as well since they won at Torquay here at the beginning of February and here's a chance now they're breaking into the penalty area one on one and it's ballooned over the crossbar and the best chance of the game goes Altrincham's way just a, a really rapid Blake seemed to catch Woking completely unawares and great pace from Piggott <coughs> looked like he'd gone in a good position it was a tightish angle okay. They are, and they, they obviously sort of looking down the left-hand side of of, as, you know, of, of their formation as uh, Ashford wins the ball back, tries to get on the end of it from Lozer, and then he clatters into Thompson. I think the referee's whistle had already gone for a foul by Ashford as he sort of went through the middle of that <laughs> Altrincham defence like a bull in a china shop. He did. And it's going to be Ogle to take it quickly into the edge of the box. Piggott tries to lay it off, and then a, an off-balance shot is uh, scooped high and wide and Musa Diara left foot out towards the far side sorry John I was just going to say you know I think when he signed Woking fans were hoping it was going to be the next Clive Walker um, it hasn't worked out like that having said that there's really only ever been one Clive Walker shot comes in and it goes well wide uh, in the end it was uh, Ashford who chanced his arm with his left foot on player and a uh, couple left it for each other there and Zuma finally played it out Colclough then played himself into trouble that was dangerous and Kane Ferdinand picks it up Jarvis on the overlap into the box Purdy put it across in towards the near post looking for Ashford an important intervention there it is going to be a, a left wing corner this time which means a right footed in swinger from Charlie Cooper it's a, a deeper one this time and is it in the Woking fans go up the flag goes up on the far side and a goal has been given tremendous delivery from Charlie Cooper Altrincham never able to fully get it away and it's been stabbed in from close range 18 minutes gone Woking 1 Altrincham 0 well it's difficult to pick out who actually got the goal and we needed the, techni the technology <laughs> didn't we really but um, you know it was a scruffy goal but nonetheless Woking 1 up yeah if one of the lads who's uh, over on the gantry over on the far side can message me to let me know who got the final touch that would be very much appreciated <laughs> to whip this one in with his right foot, referee's whistle goes. It's driven, it's a high hanging one. Thompson thought about coming that didn't, it just missed Diara. And in the end, it uh, looped into the arms of Thompson. Gehring was lurking just inside that six yard box and um, Woking will be an opportunity after, uh, after six minutes, maybe, um, maybe to, I guess he's an old cliche, maybe came a little bit, little bit too early for him. But that means Altrincham have now failed to keep a clean sheet in their last 10 away games. Here come Woking again, ball into the box, and it very nearly dropped to Jarvis at the back stick. An important intervention by Senior to put it out of play for another corner, and Woking looking really dangerous when they get in wide areas. Mm -hmm. Senior's cross is blocked out of play by Josh Casey. Quickly taken throw. Here's Kolkov popping up into a central area, and uh, the shot from about 20 yards skewed off the outside of his left foot and went well wide of Craig Ross's right. Not even, not, probably not even a half chance, I, I wouldn't have thought, as uh, Craig Ross takes the goal kick. It bounces over a couple of people, and Ashford flicks it in behind Kanjamalo to get there. That's a really good save by Thompson, who's quickly back to his feet. And Jamal Loza just in a split second got in the room, probably took it earlier than Thompson was expecting. And that was a really good save by the Altrincham goalkeeper, Jamal Loza, very nearly making it 2 0. Yeah, it was a terrific save because not only did he get down well, but he got up again. So the apocryphal sort of once every couple of years. I remember working, I think they were challenging for a playoff spot against I'll York. I'll just break you off here because Altrincham have a chance that's driven well over the crossbar in the end, just outside the penalty area. It was Cole Clough again in midfield, looks for Loza over on the right hand side he's got uh, company again tight company from Reagan Ogle and the uh, 
Woking winger with a couple of little step overs. Cross comes in, good header away from Hannigan. Back into the box it goes, and that's surely offside <laughs> from uh, <laughs> from Kane Ferdinand, who definitely got the last touch there. But uh, yeah, he was a good four or five yards offside. Yeah, we don't need VAR for that. We do not. No, 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 uh, no, no danger of that at all. But yeah, as I mentioned, um, Altrincham they would actually be 17th if games ended at half time. They've got the best second half record in the National League. If you uh, over on the far touchline again, yellow shirts pouring forward into the, the middle it goes right foot shot comes in and that was a good save from Craig Ross diving away to his left hand side danger not clear yet though here's Senior Senior just outside the box Woking have got everyone behind the ball bar Sam Ashford cross comes in back up towards this near side Senior dispossessed though by Josh Casey and the uh, Woking captain bursts forward just overran it but it ran kindly to Ashford Ashford goes past two defenders Ashford attacking the edge of the box into the area Ashford that's a really good save by Thompson again to keep altering him in it that was a fantastic run by Sam Ashford brushing off defenders but Thompson was his equal it remains Woking one Altrincham nil brilliant work from Ashford quick feet strength Decent shot at the end of it, and as you rightly say, another really good sprawling save. Altrincham throw quickly taken down to the byline, little layoff. Here's Colclough on his right foot, and it's into the side netting. It'll be a Woking goal kick, but again, Colclough dangerous. He will shoot on sight so far for Woking, though. Fortunately for them, he hasn't been able to hit the target. And it's going to be Ogle to take the throw in quickly to uh, Sean Williams, wearing number eight, towards the uh, edge of the box, and it's smashed over the crossbar. Uh, by uh, Josh Hancock of Ferdinand. Jarvis chases it down over on the far side, but good defending from Altrincham. But now it comes back to Lozer just outside the box, goes past one. Lozer on his right foot, and the shot is uh, deflected. A couple of good ones will skate over the uh, short corner as it goes deep, and Thompson comes, doesn't get there, and uh, it bounces to him off the back of a defender, I think, in the end. It uh, bounced to him very, very kindly indeed. And Charlie Cooper is going to take it right footed it's a deep one and it's uh, cleared via an Altrincham foot and the flag had gone up to say the ball had gone out of play anyway before it got hooked back now, in uh, out towards the far side the overlapping senior it's a good cross headed up in the air by Ben Gering Craig Ross puts a name on it puts both hands on it collides with Niall Bell grabs it anyway no free kick given, and Woking's defence stands. And players leave it for each other, and a chance here for Altrincham to play it out towards the uh, far side. Uh, Yusufu Cisse into Colcliffe, 25 yards from goal, tries a shot, and that was not far wide at all. Really good hit by the Altrincham left, where he has his head in his hand. I think Craig Ross saw it late because he seemed to dive, you know, sort of with, with not a not a great deal of. Uh, of, of vigour until it was very late indeed and that was that was slightly unfortunate. Back to Moult, now Williams with the first time ball over the top, he's looking for the run of Cissé, Craig Ross comes out, did he get the player before he got the ball, the referee says caught halfway, ten minutes to go. Yeah, thumping it up to halfway and there's no one up there. Back it comes into the Woking penalty area, header drops inside the box, in goes Gehring, won the ball, he got ball, he got man, and again, the referee was right on the spot. That was a fantastic challenge by Ben Gehring. Up, back to Lozer down the left-hand side. He's got Wareham and Kretschmar in the middle. If he wants to play a ball in, Lozer uh, lays it back to uh, Cooper. Now Casey, Casey. A little bit of a twist and a turn into Lozer. Now back to Cooper. Back to Lozer, whose first time shot goes over the crossbar oh, because you can quite clearly see what was about to happen. Thompson takes the free kick. And uh, it's taken down on the chest, player goes down, referee has a look and he's given a penalty. Altrincham have got a penalty in stoppage time at the end of this game. It seemed to bounce over Gehring's head. One of the Altrincham players went down, Gehring is on the floor. I'm assuming maybe it was Gehring that got the final touch, it was tough to say. But Altrincham here with a glorious opportunity to snatch a late point. Well, what was I saying, Gavin? Hall, Craig yeah. Ross has his arms out on his line, bouncing in a central position referees also goes up steps Hancock right footed and he puts it right in the corner Craig Ross stayed in the middle and Hancock made absolutely no mistake at all and in the 92nd minute Altrincham have got an equaliser it's Woking 1 Altrincham 1 well desperately disappointing really you know Woking looked like they were going to see this game out 
and yet even in the first half they'd had one or two lapses in concentration uh, and that was another one you know they should have won this game looking at their first half performance against all the shot at the weekend what can woking do here we're in the 94th minute in swinging corner in towards the near post it's brilliant save by tony thompson it was a little flick header at the near post i think it might have been kane fernand who got a touch on it but that was a stunning save by tony thompson to keep it 1-1 yeah it was diara in fact who got the header got a decent connection He's on it almost up here's casey who's um, absolutely no rush at all there. Could have put a ball in the box, didn't, and it's finished. And Woking will absolutely feel like this is two points they've thrown away. Final score, Woking 1, Altingham 1. Obviously, Kyron Lofthouse got the goal from the corner after 18 minutes. But Jamal Lowe's had a good shot, well saved by Thompson. Excellent run from Ashford after 42 minutes to, to get a run and shot away. Again, well saved by, by Tony Thompson. And, of course, when when Woking had to attack after they conceded the equaliser, he made a brilliant save, as you say, from, from Diara from the corner.